Now, in New York City, there's the famous initial Waldorf Astoria, which has been under construction or rehabilitation for a few years. Um, you don't own it, but you're going to manage it, I presume. Is it going to open in my lifetime? Well, let me correct one thing. That is not the original Waldorf Astoria. Oh, the original not. Waldorf Astoria uh, was, was uh, put together as a consequence of the Astor, uh, two uh, members of the Astor fa family feuding that had two hotels that were on the site of what is today the Empire State Building. And the way they settled the feud was they, one hotel was the Waldorf, the other was the Astoria, and they settled the feud by connecting them with what they called Peacock Alley, and it became famously the Waldorf Astoria in New York. That was in the late 1800s. They ultimately sold it to what um, got redeveloped as the Empire State Building, and where the current Waldorf Astoria is was built during the Great Depression. It opened in 1931. Okay and is under massive redevelopment um, and should open, reopen as what I think will be the best luxury hotel in New York in 2023 with 400 rooms and you know about the same amount of high-end luxury apartments. So there's another rumor going on around about another Waldorf story. It's rumored in Washington, D.C., where we are now, <laughs> that the Trump Hotel um, which had its challenges, which has been reported and sold to somebody, and that you, uh, Hilton, will manage it as a Waldorf Astoria. Can you comment on that? I've read that same rumor, but no, I can't, comment, can't comment on that. I have a, a very strict rule. I'll, I'll comment when something is okay. done. And so the rumors are justified in the sense that there's, there's a lot of work and discussion okay. going on, but no, nothing is done.